all of the cleaning products you need to keep your truck shining. Go down below to my description where you can find a link to their website, brownox.com for the US and Bolsnot Canada for up here in Canada. Go check them out if you like a clean rig. Let's get on with the video. I'm only gonna be there for one day. I'm going there for Thursday, Friday, early, early morning. I've gotta be at the airport in Louisville at, uh, oh, what time do I gotta be there at? My flight leaves at 6.30, so I'm guessing I've gotta be there at 4 a.m. This should be my, uh, my new springs for back here. Remember these springs sort of failed on me? I have a bungee up there along with that last spring. There was another, there's three springs on there and uh, two of them broke. So I've got a new, new thing right here. I won't install it now. I'm just gonna take it out of here and make sure it's the correct one. Oh, look at that, a box inside another box. That's a funny joke. <laughs> I didn't wanna have to get my knife out. I'm supposed to be bringing food home. I don't want to make them wait because we're hungry. There we go. Come on. Come on. You know, they always package these things like they're going to war or something. Really? I might have to get my knife out. One second. Try with the key again. There we go. Okay, here it is. That is what I ordered, yeah. So these are the springs, they're in a protective case. They're uh, 16 inch, I believe. So one side hangs on the top there, one side hangs on the bottom. And here is all the materials for it. So good, I just wanted to make sure that that was the correct package that the right stuff came we will worry about this another day we're not working today off duty and what's mommy doing over here <gasps> All the birthday oh my whose birthday is it whose birthday in three days three days Daddy's got to take one more quick little trip and then he'll be back and we're going to party. So we got that. We got a bunch of balloons. Uh, we even got a helium tank. We're going to blow up all the balloons with helium. We got to do that uh, much closer to the actual party. While he's napping. While he's napping. Because they only last from maybe like 12 hours. Might get 24 hours out of some of them. but We got them uh, the helium tank at Canadian Tire. I didn't even know you could buy that at Canadian Tire. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, we're good. You got it? We're good. I thought I put it on. Weird. No, we're good. It's still pretty cold out, but we are feeling a lot better. Just by being out here, and when the sun pokes through the clouds, you can tell it's just Hitting, at a, hitting us at just a better angle already. Makes you excited. Excited for spring. Look at this, most of the snow is gone, but it's turned to just sheer ice. We literally have a skating rink in our backyard. All of that isn't snow, that's ice. <laughs> the ground is still frozen, so the water doesn't have many places to go. So it'll melt on the warmer days and then freeze like this on the colder days. This will be our first summer in this place. I'm really looking forward to when these trees are fully green. And go and sit at the fire pit back there and have a bonfire. Run around back here without wearing the silly hat. Sit on the deck here and just enjoy the weather. And we're still hoping to get this fence finished this summer. We may have to delay it because of IVF, uh, which costs a lot of money. We took the money out of that account to pay for that. We might be able to, if we schedule the fence to be done later this summer, but I also gotta get the frame done on my truck, right? And without the frame getting done, like I need a truck for sure. The fence is working. 
and we might have to just make it work for one more year and then do it in 2025. We'll see. We haven't made that decision yet. We'll see where we're at uh, later this year, later this summer. My dad built this for us because at the back here it wasn't complete, right? When we moved in, it was just that on both sides. But we needed this here to keep the dogs in the yard. I thought maybe a four foot wouldn't be high enough, but ah, uh, the dogs. Chevy's too scared to jump over anything that high. The little guys obviously don't have to worry about it. And Diesel's too old, wherever he is. Diesel, there he is. Yeah, you, he can't even jump on the bed anymore at home. Oh, look at all that white wisdom hair. People have been watching you on this channel for 12 years, man. They're turning 13 years old. Look at this on his side. It's almost all gray hair already. Those are wisdom hairs, Diesel. Don't worry about it. He's getting there. His back hips are giving him a little bit of issues already. He can still walk, but I definitely don't encourage him to run. And uh, he can't really jump up on anything. So, but anyways, this is the fence my dad built just to close this off for now. Sort of made in the same style that you would make, you know, hockey boards for like an outdoor rink. Right? But that's stabilizing it and it's it's solid. It's not going anywhere. And we have the lights going all the way around so that we can see the whole yard at night. And then when the dogs leave us a little present, we can see it and go pick it up because we don't leave that laying in the yard. I find it gross when you go into someone's yard and it's just filled up with like dog poop. No. And we don't use the excuse of winter and, oh, we'll clean it up in spring. No, that's gross. It's all mushy. It gets all over the yard. No, we're out here with the dogs. Whenever they're outside, we're outside as well. And uh, as soon as they leave something for us, leave something behind, we clean it up right away and throw it out. Come on, Frank. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Uh, he's old too. While he's napping, we're getting a few things done already, so there's less to do, and we'll get back from Louisville. So he's gonna wake up from his nap and realize it's his birthday week. to have banners up all week. Most of the decorations and balloons and stuff will go up the day of while he's napping. They'll come out, it'll be super special then. But getting a few things done today. So these, gets hung up and then there's pictures from every month. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. Number one mom here has probably been planning this for the last 30 years. <laughs> so this is the dishwasher. We're actually going to keep this and put that on the other one. I've replaced the door seal around here already. And I've replaced the bottom seal on here already. And it's still leaking. And I can't figure out from where. So, I'm just disconnecting it all and pulling it out of here. I'm going to take it to the shop, see if I can figure it out there. Well, when I can get it out of the house, and then I can test it properly and not to worry about uh, getting water and stuff on the floor. And just easier to work on it there. Maybe my dad will give me a hand if he's got time. I haven't asked him yet, but he's probably watching this video now and already gathering his tools. Hold on there, Dad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. We'll, uh... We'll see what the plan is first. Right now I'm not thinking about fixing this. I've got uh, a flight first thing in the morning. And I'm just trying to uh, replace it. So we have this dishwasher from our old house. We were actually taking it here to install here anyway. And I haven't gotten around to it. <coughs> Excuse me. It's right here. So instead of a white face on the front, it's got stainless steel. It's actually not quite as nice. That's why we were kind of thinking of keeping the other one. This one's got like a plastic tub here, right? But it's brand new and it works great. 
This one was the one that came with the house. It's a little bit older. It's got a ding in it. It's another reason we wanted to replace it. But uh, one second there, bud. One second. Daddy's working. Daddy's working. He wants to help, but uh, his fingers aren't big enough yet. And this one's actually a lot nicer. It's got a steel interior and a steel tub, right? So we're gonna try and fix it, but we're gonna take it out of here anyways, and install the other one. I've already gotten the uh, uh, the electrical disconnected down here. I've got the power off to this thing, so there's no power to this thing. And underneath here, I just took this box off of here and I've got the power over here. There is no power going to these wires. I have triple checked, don't worry. These were connected in here. The dishwasher, I undid this and took these apart. So I've got that disconnected now. Now I've just got to disconnect the drain here and on the other side of my phone, what I'm using as a flashlight, the hot water. I've got the hot water turned off already and I can take this off and replace it. Britt just ran into town uh, to uh, run a few errands. So I'm balancing daddy duty and dishwasher duty. Dishwasher repairman duty or dishwasher replacer duty. Trying to do it all here, but I'm almost there. I've got the, the power to snick now. Just two more things. Pull it out of here and uh, it'll, it'll be a quick switch. It'll be a quick switch. So I gotta put you guys down so I can actually get it done. I took my glasses off so that I, cause they kept falling off and getting in the way. Ugh. It's crazy. I've only been wearing these things for like a year, right? Just over a year. Crazy how quickly you get used to having them on your face. And I'm sure it's quick for you guys to notice right away when I don't have my glasses on, even though for the first like 11 years of vlogging, I didn't have glasses. Crazy. I don't like them. I wish I didn't. <laughs> I wish I didn't. Need. I don't really, I don't have that bad of vision. Like I can see everything just fine. Right? But I put them on and it's like, ooh, HD, 4K. It, it just sharpens everything just a little bit. I'm getting older. In order to get the water connection disconnected and the drain disconnected from the other one and reconnected to this one, I need a plier. And we don't have one plier in this entire house, apparently. So Bridge just got home so she can watch the deal. I'm gonna quickly run to my shop Grab a set of pliers. I don't know why we don't have any at the house. There we go. Sort of looks like it always was there, right? First time I uninstalled and reinstalled the dishwasher. It was pretty simple because all the plumbing was already in there. But there is a difference in this one. It's not as big is the other one, but it works and it doesn't leak. So right now that's what's important. <laughs> so this will work for now in the meantime, till we get the other one fixed. And yes, you're probably wondering, who has a spare dishwasher just laying around? We do. We do. And it's a good thing we did because uh, it saved us. Because Britt has a problem with her hands that uh, severe eczema, which is triggered by um, you know, tap water, if she uses too much. And I know there's, there's options you guys have given in the comment section, like, oh, why doesn't she use gloves? Why doesn't she do this? Believe me, she's been dealing with this her entire life. Uh, she knows all the options. And the best option is to just have a dishwasher. Plus, Makes everything easier, right? So it's a win-win. So it saves her hands and uh, also makes life a lot easier. So I'll show you this other dishwasher. I gotta bring it to the shop yet to try to repair it. Cause we still wanna use this one. I'm gonna open this. So I can open it without it tipping over here. <clears throat> there we go. See that? A lot bigger, also has like a stainless steel or a steel interior, and door, so it has better quality. And it's a lot quieter. This thing when it's running, you can't even hear, hear it running. The other one you can definitely hear. It was also a little cheaper in this one, hence it being a spare. It's 
It's actually the dishwasher that we bought for our old house, our last one, and we had it installed in there. But when we moved in here, uh, we were pretty certain that there wasn't a dishwasher for some reason, and we had to take our dishwasher along. Anyways, we negotiated it into the sale of that house that we take the dishwasher with us. So when we moved, we realized, oh, this one had a dishwasher already. We ended up with this, but it's a good thing we negotiated that and kept that because got us out of a, a snag right now. So it's working. It worked and now I know how to switch out a dishwasher. Add that to my list of skills. It's a little bit longer every now and then. So Theo is just napping. He'll be up any time now. Britt is getting her hair done in Winnipeg. And I'm filming this in the future to end off this vlog. So this is far in the future already. I'm catching up on all my vlogs. I've already been to Matt's and back. So you guys have probably, if you follow me on social media, which is all listed in the description down below, you guys have probably uh, already seen all my posts from there. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for those of you who just follow on YouTube here. So we had a lot of fun there. I was a guest of Howe's Products. And if you want to tune into the upcoming videos, you'll find out why. So I'll leave it there, everybody. Tomorrow's vlog, we fly out to Louisville with a stop off in Atlanta. So we actually fly past Louisville. And we also learn in the, on the way that it's not Louisville, it's Louisville. Lou Louisville. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, the bell all the regular things that every other YouTuber will tell you to do. And if you want to support us one step further, always down below is that you can click that join now button, click that, it'll explain how you can go to take your support to the next level and you get early access to our videos then and uh, other special perks. But yeah, and as always, down below, you'll find every link to anything that has to do with me on the internet. Any link to all of my social media, down below in the description, links to all of my friends over at Howes, Bullsnot, and Beaver. Uh, these are all great people and companies that I know that I would recommend to you and also a little bit of my backstory is down there as well. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.